Hi guys. So in this video we will be covering the instructions move wf and add wf. The instruction move wf is used to move a value. Whichever value is present in the working register gets moved to the file register. We will mention the address of the file register here. So this is how it looks like. Considering this sample code move lw30h. So this is used to move the value 30h. This 30h is a hexadecimal value it will get moved to the working register move wf 10h here 10h is not a literal value it corresponds to the address of a file register so this instruction moves the value present in working register at this point of time whichever value is present in the working register it gets copied to the file register whose address is 10h move lw 20h you know this instruction is used to move the value this 20h is a value it gets moved to the working register move wf 10h so the value present in wreg gets copied to the file register whose address is 10h move wf 50h so even after this instruction wreg will be having the value 20h because in this instruction it is copying to this in, uh, file register so for this instruction move wf 50h the value present in wreg will be copied to the file register 50h so 50h contains the value 20h right now add wf this instruction is used to add two values present in the working register and the file register whose address will be given here and this d right here is used to determine where we should store the value as we mentioned in the previous videos the result of the alu that is any mathematical operation can be stored in two registers that is working register and any of the other general purpose registers so if the value of d is 0 or w the result gets stored in WREG and if the value of D is 1 or F the value is stored in file register. So let's consider the sample code. In this case we will be using three registers. Anyway the working register comes to the picture as we have to move the value to the working register in order to move the value to the file register. We can't directly move the value to any other file registers. So move lw 20h. This instruction moves the value 20h to the wreg. Move wf 10h. This instruction moves the value present in wreg to the file register whose address is 10h. So 10h now holds the value 20h. Move lw 30h. So working register now contains the value 30h. Add wf 10h comma 1. So this instruction adds the value present in wreg. W right here stands for this wreg and f right here stands for the file register whose address is 10h. So this value and this value gets added. We know the result is 50h. Now we have to look where we should store the result. So this d d's value here is 1. So we should store the result in the file register whose address will be given here this same file register we should store the result so 10h now gets the value 50h add wf 10h comma 0 so this instruction adds whatever value is present in wreg when we come to this instruction so this is 30h is present here and what value is present in the 10h file register 50h so the sum is 80h so d is here 0 so we should store the result in wreg so wreg now have the value 80h move wf 20h this means move the value present in wreg at this moment the value present in wreg is 80h so it gets moved to the file register whose address is 20h so 20h now gets the value 80h now we have to add the value present in wreg and 20h so the sum is 100h it's hexadecimal format 100h the result is stored in 
W origin. We have a W here, so it means the result should be stored in W origin. So W origin changes to 100H. Now we have an exercise problem. Please pause the video and work out and comment the values, final values in the three registers which we have used in here. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.